it's the um the peanut butter coating is what I have. Yep. Yeah, so I have some of that. So, so, so another piece of slice of having peanut butter is next on the agenda then. Yeah, we're going to make some peanut butter creams next. We're low on those. Yep, yeah, they're one of our biggest sellers. So Laredo's going to go from over there when he's done with the Oreos and make some peanut butter cream. Multi Multitasker. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, that's one of the few things... From this area, eventually I plan on moving just because I can't take the cold anymore. But um, one of the few things I will never forget about this area was when I stopped in here at Music Fest, like I said before, and having that chocolate-covered bacon and stopping in here was actually what gave me the idea for the, doing that, that um, must-stop list. That's cool. I have no That's idea how nice. I made the connection, you know, but it was like... And then, you know, I, friends ever since. yeah, and then I started noticing a couple of the other businesses. It's like, you know what, let's do this. And, you know, and people, I talked to people and they, they were actually, you know what, that's a great idea to do something like that. So, but yeah, you, everything, you know, I've actually, you know, I mentioned this place, you know, and I mentioned you to people in the area. Everybody's like, she, right off, she, that, the chocolate lab's the best. So you know, nice. and as far as you, you know, what I hear about you being a business owner, a person, every, you know, people are like, she's, you know, I hear nothing but great things about you. Oh, thank you. Well, I have my moments. I get a bit overwhelmed, right, guys? You haven't talked to the right people. A bit overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah, they're asking for Heather and Laredo. They can yeah. I'm like, just ignore me. I get really overwhelmed when I get busy. I'm like, oh, my God. Let me put it this way. If I had a steel-tipped dartboard like I used to, um, oh. The, the wall behind the dartboard had almost as many holes in it as the dartboard did. So it's, oh, I understand, you know, especially if you're, you know, own a bit, own your own business, you get, you know, not everything, it's a lot harder than what people think. It takes a lot more, you know, between dealing with people, dealing with, you know, with vendors. It does, but, you know, it's chocolate, so everybody's usually very nice, which is a great right. thing. Everyone once in a while we'll get a cranky person in, the, in here but it's some, usually because they've had a bad day before they even walk into the store yeah you know but then they, I mean? they hear the music they get the chocolate yeah. bam Hi, how are you? and then everybody's better yep so and yeah Lego really enjoys making chocolate and he's going to show you hey start of uh, the start of a career yeah. you know you never know you can uh -huh. end, you uh -huh. can end up really loving this and learn a lot and open yeah. your own business he loves food he's interested in all sorts of things he has Jobs. He loves food. Yeah, and he really is doing a great job. Thank you for not using that term. That term, foodie. <laughs> oh, oh man, I hate, I hate cliches. Oh, how much more time do you have? Five minutes. Oh, okay, five minutes. Now, Laredo, what's what do you have over here? Well, I have sprinkled Oreos. That okay. I just gotta put a little couple dots of chocolate so we can stick to sugar. Heads too, which is okay. pretty neat. I like doing it. I mean, kind of messed up the first time, but I'm learning, so get everything to do it. Hey, every, yeah. everyone makes, you know, even, and I'm sure you can agree with me. Even you've been in business for 13 years now. Yeah. You're still learning. It's everything. Always. It's a constant learning Always. process. And you have, never have anything figured out. Just when you think you have it figured out, things there's no rhyme or reason to anything. You know, everything because we're like outdoor and we're on Main Street weather affects business the especially i'm sure especially like in, in the winter when we get this the freezing cold and you don't have the foot traffic yes or in the summer where you do have you know cold and frozen treats but you know okay somebody you know like especially during music fest when i walked out the door it's like inhale this fast because otherwise yeah. i'm sure you know i'm sure the heat would you know the fat when it's hot outside that pe you, it kind of affects business because the chocolate melts so fast. Yeah, and we do offer cold packs, or a lot of people will actually bring a cooler on okay. their way down because they know they're going to be here, or we give them out free to our customers. We okay. Because we don't want people to, you know, spend money on chocolate and have everything melt. So yeah, and we've also sort of adapted too by doing frozen treats and ice cream for something to get us through the summer, which is a really nice thing and has become very popular. Okay. Yeah, so, that that uh, cheesecake on a stick. I I remember yeah, trying that. And it was like. It yeah giant chip witches and the ice cream everybody everybody really enjoys so yeah sort of have to reinvent yourself over the years and make up for the times when you know you're slow when there's you know typical months where you know the weather is going to be really hot right now yeah. just because of you know and this is like this for pretty much any city or town 
would like if I would have to guess, I'd say probably your slowest time of the year would probably be, be like January and February, like in the dead middle of winter. Am I right January, or am I wrong? But we're actually prepping because we have no chocolate left and our store shelves are empty from Christmas, so it takes us literally the Plus Valentine's month. Day in February. I, I totally forgot about that. Big holiday. So we're busy in the store even though there aren't a lot of people. It's very quiet downtown and it's very cold. We always have plenty to do. Okay. So January is a very busy time for us to restock. Business-wise, it's typically very slow for the reasons that you mentioned, but we're getting ready for Valentine's Day. So that's a, a great, we're very lucky seasonally when it's very quiet downtown. We have holidays that help us get through like Valentine's Day. And Easter. Day, Mother's Day, Easter, all of that. It's uh, every, you know, they're all big helps. We have a, a chocolate trail in February, which is nice. And all I have to try that. Again. I have to try that this year. Yeah. Are you, is your chocolate ready yet? Two more minutes. Oh, two minutes. Oh. Now. Um, if you don't mind me asking one one other question, which I, no, the way I think it's even my wife told me I think fast on my feet, so that's why I don't pre-plan interviews. Um, I've seen some places that, you know, especially like in the large corporations and mass-produced chocolate, where it's becoming putting alcohol in almost any type of food is like becoming more and more popular. Um, do you do that with you, or like even if somebody would special order? Let's just say like a chocolate cherry liqueur. Do you, sure. okay. We do, um, it's a commonwealth and our state is very strange. You're only allowed a certain percentage of alcohol in chocolate. Mm -hmm. So I make it to order. Okay. I don't put alcohol in anything, but yeah, you're absolutely right. People love liqueur filled chocolates. It's not something that we readily have, but you can call and order it. I'd make um, chocolate covered cherry soaked in cherry kirsch, um, Jack Daniels, bourbon, whatever anybody would like. Yeah. Catch a, eat the chocolate, catch a buzz, save money. There you go, that's right, yeah. <laughs> so. And Laredo did all of those Oreos yesterday, which Heather's not gonna take in the back there. Wow. To stock up on those. Yep, they're one of our biggest sellers. All the simple things are the things that people really love. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can believe it. And you have a huge variety. I mean, you, we do. Again, going back to the first time we're during music festival, I've been in here a few times before and I met, you know, we've talked a little, you know, said hello. But when Music Fest, when I first like really walked in and really, you know, started looking around and I'm like, it's like, no wonder why people spend three, like yesterday when I, when I stopped by, um, you know, I, t I was sitting outside on the bench and I just took notice of people spending five, ten minutes in here. It's so hard to make the decisions it's here. It's true. We try to sit back a little bit and let people look around because there are so many different types of chocolate. Ready to go, Laredo? Yep. Just take a scoop and then put that in your bag. Just one scoop. Yep. Yeah, that should be good. And then you can fill it up again and then make like maybe three or four like dots in the center or wherever you want to put the sugar and then just lay the sugar on top. So Laredo's going to finish up his Halloween Oreos. We posted these on Facebook and we're almost out of them. So yay. I can believe media. it. And everybody loves an Oreo. Yes. And Laredo, thank goodness, isn't tired of making Oreos. That's all he's been doing because he had one bag of Oreos left. So he's going to... Just put a little dot of chocolate in the center of the Oreos and then put a little piece of sugar. You need to cut a little, little bigger hole in the bottom of that. Can you get it out? Okay. Yeah. Now, yeah. I, I don't want to inter interrupt what he's doing, but something like this, it actually, as far as like how big to make the hole in the back, that does require a lot of, you have to know precision, correct? Because yeah, because we're just putting really tiny little things actually on top of these. And if you have a, uh, like a parchment bag, this is what we use when we pipe out our chocolate. Okay. Um, if too much comes out, then it's going to make a big mess. And then it's going to get all over your fingers. And then it's going to get all over the pieces of sugar that you want to put down. So, yeah. But Laredo, yeah, he loves to make the Oreos and he's very creative. So that's really cool. And yeah. Okay. So he wanted to put the, we love the edible glitter sprinkles are always so fun and the gold will be great like you had mentioned for Christmas. Yep. And we do these also for every holiday and they're really popular. It seems like the very simple things are the things that people really like, yeah. like the most. And the life is, Oreos, life is complicated and with the technology it makes it even, you know, more complicated. Yeah. And, you know, it's like people do want, people still want that simple they do. They want the simple things to remind them when they were a kid, when they were, you know, growing Absolutely. up, when, you know, having like the complex creations and everything, like even chocolate waterfalls is great, but people just, 
they still want to be reminded of the simple times in life. They do. Yeah, and chocolate is a simple pleasure that people really enjoy. It's also the number one selling food product in America. Second I can believe it. Olive oil and then cheese, so we're also very lucky. I suppose pizza isn't on our list. <laughs> yeah, so we're very lucky in that respect, too. Even when the you know things are bad or the economy's down, our yeah. sales are always up, and chocolate you know, survived Hershey's through the Great Depression. Everybody needed their chocolate, and I think Hershey's sent... Um, Chocolates to our to our troops. Yeah. yeah it's well, it's also the good. caffeine. It could also be the caffeine in it too. There's a very the chocolate uh, doesn't contain caffeine, but it's processed okay. with caffeine. Okay. There I thought, is, it, I thought as, it contained it naturally. Yeah, a lot of people think that um, there is as much caffeine probably in a an six ounce cup of decaf coffee, but there would be in like a six ounce chocolate bar. But uh, I do believe it releases endorphins and. Mm -hmm. um, makes you uh, have the same similar feelings as to falling in love. Uh, yeah, that's, I think that's actually scientifically, scientifically proven. Scientifically proven, yeah. And it's heart healthy, it's good for Alzheimer's, it has more antioxidants than any fruit or vegetable. Bless you. Excuse me, thank you. Sure. So, yeah, it's, it's great. It's just a simple pleasure that people love, and I think people love the fact that we're one of the only handmade chocolate shops in the area. Most of our local chocolate shops mass produce everything. Um, mm -hmm. I've watched, which is um, pretty fascinating to watch. Josh Early was on the local news last year. Yeah. But they're big in rovers making their big Easter eggs and all of their candies and the you know the equipment is you know it's millions of dollars and just to see it is yeah, but fascinating. But this is a whole that's great if you're different. supplying the retail chain. But it's yeah. nice to to have something because you know no matter even if it's the shape of it, something like right what you do. No two pieces are exactly the same, so it's something it's original and unique, you know, that people that people can get, not just something that was dropped, you know, a mold was filled up, popped into a huge oven, you know what I mean? Sure. So it's, you know, this is something that it just it adds that personal, that personal touch to it. Anybody can mass produce anything. That's right. The world we live all you in, all you have to do is have the money. <laughs> Just have yeah, the money for the equipment. Take the time to create something and create something beautiful with your hands that people really love. I mean, you can't ask for a better, a better job. And thank God, people, you know, love the story. They love the store. I have some really amazing customers. I that I've, see, I've taken notice. Like, if I was sitting outside, um, <coughs> excuse me, when I was sitting outside, I, the the three ladies that walked in, they're around between twelve and twelve thirty. I was sitting outside on the bench, and I. And two of them walked past, and they're like, "Yes, the chalk lab is open." And it, those were their exact words. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's great customers, very kind, nice repeat customers, people that fell in love with how we started the business, and you know, losing my job due to outsourcing and gave up everything I owned to do this has really, really paid off after 13 years. Yeah, I'm really grateful. And we have the hard work does pay same off. Nice customers and new business and. New faces and the repeats, it's just, it's really nice. Is that all the orders?